Everyone wants to do the right thing for the environment by recycling. There are specific materials that are suited to be processed for recycling in the City of Phoenix's program. Anything other than those specific materials is considered a contaminant. And often, a single or a few contaminants mixed in with the correct recyclable materials can send the entire pile to the landfill. Contaminants like soft plastics, textiles, lawn clippings, food waste and foam should not go into the recycling container. But residents sometimes get confused. That's when Monica and Derek come in. Through Phoenix Public Works' new educational program, Oops, Shine On! Monica and Derek go around a Phoenix neighborhood to do visual audits of residents' blue recycling containers. When they see a contaminant, usually grocery bags and plastic wrappers, the blue container is tagged with an oops. But when the container has the right recyclable stuff, it is tagged with a shine on. Before launching the program in February 2018, Phoenix Public Works researched similar programs in other U.S. cities to understand the process. In Lowell, Massachusetts, they piloted their program in two neighborhoods. Visual audits were performed, and using two different kinds of tags, the City of Lowell's Solid Waste and Recycling Team was able to educate residents on the right materials to recycle in their program. After eight collection cycles, Lowell's recycling rejection rate decreased from nearly 30% down to 2.8%. And that's the kind of success rate Phoenix Public Works was looking for. For the pilot, Phoenix Public Works focused on a neighborhood in central Phoenix targeting about 1,400 residential households. For five weeks, Public Works specialists, made up of 11 teams of two people, conducted visual audits of recycling containers within the pilot area. Monica and Derek made up one of the teams. They were trained on what to look for and how to properly record the data they collected. In a matter of five weeks, contamination in residential curbside containers significantly decreased. In week one of Phoenix's pilot, 72% of recycling containers put out for collection received an oops tag. By the fifth week of the pilot, the numbers flipped. 71% of the recycling containers put out for collection received a shine on tag. Success! And the best part? The Phoenix Public Works team gets a chance to talk to the residents to explain the new program and why it's important to have good, clean recyclables in their blue containers. It's been nearly a year and a half since the Oops Shine On program started. Public Works continues to extend the program to different parts of the city and is seeing more than 50% improvement in pilot areas. Also, technology enhancements were added to capture more accurate data for efficiencies. More importantly, Phoenix neighborhoods are receiving direct education about waste diversion. And Monica and Derek, they're still at it working to make Phoenix shine on, one household at a time.